Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, hey, tuning kind of megahertz by megahertz, checking out what's on the vans and also explaining the spectrum at the same time. But instead of an SDR, hey, why not use a standard radio on telescopic antenna, which actually represents probably a lot more, a lot of the people listening out there. So 3000 to 4000 kilohertz, what's in there? We're going to go through the band. So I'm always tuning single sideband because weak signals are heard through single sideband and often not heard in AM mode. So the bottom part of 3000 kilohertz is a aeronautical band. So you'll hear air traffic control. Uh, for example, their few frequencies are from Gander, Newfoundland, New York. But depending on where you are in the world, different air traffic control stations. Another thing that you might be hearing on the bottom part, like about 3185, around 3200, sometimes, yeah, especially in the winter, when propagation and, and the maximum usable frequency is low, uh, pirate stations might be there. Also, might, uh, you might hear stuff that are in broadcasts. Uh, 90 meter tropical band is from around 3200 to 3380 ish kilohertz. Of course, here, CHU Canada time signal on 3330. strong but here we have Gander uh, Newfoundland weather volumet and starting at 3500 you have the um, 80 meters amateur radio band but it's divided into different categories depending on where you are in Europe it is shorter and the upper part has the uh, um, another um, broadcast band for um, their region one uh, but um, for North America we have mostly uh, 80 meter amateur band most of it is in a lower sideband for voice so of course I'm gonna do the first part with CW this is FT8 This is the W1AW Morse code practice. And starting at 3600, I'll switch to lower sideband.
Just interesting to see that interference. So that was uh, the upper part of 3 MHz, which has the 80 meter amateur radio band. So uh, tune around slowly. Might not seem exciting. You might say, well, there's a lot of nothing on the bands. That's because this is a snapshot of a very small moment in time. But over hours of tuning, days of tuning, you'll see that there's quite a few signal, actually 3000 to 4000 kilohertz is a range I go to regularly to see what's out there. Hope you enjoyed this little series. We're going to continue on and even through the day tomorrow for the higher frequencies. So I'm going to show you guys what's out there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.